Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to talk about how to use your mirrorless camera or your DSLR as a webcam. Now, what you need is you need a camera that supports a remote viewfinder on the computer. What that means is you need some way to get whatever the camera is seeing to appear on your computer screen. Now, Sony a7 III here, that has a remote view app. Basically, once we plug it into the computer and install the software, we'll be able to see whatever the camera is seeing in a window on the computer down here. The next thing you need is a Windows computer. Uh, I believe this only works on Windows. I haven't been able to find a Mac workaround. Now, the software you need is OBS Studio. Basically, we're gonna use that and we're gonna capture whatever is showing on the screen and then we're gonna share it out as a virtual webcam. Now, if that all makes sense to you, you can go ahead and do it. Otherwise, let's whip pan to the full instructions. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is obviously install the software. Now, we have basically two pieces of software. The first one is the software for your camera. Now, it should be available for most manufacturers, but for Sony, it's called the Imaging Edge Desktop. Basically, with this install, we'll be able to get a live viewfinder in a window on this computer. The next thing you gotta install is the Open Broadcaster software, or the OBS Studio. This software allows you to basically capture any part of your screen and then stream it to like YouTube. But we're not gonna stream it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna install the Virtual Cam plugin uh, and basically stream it as a emulated webcam. So this will basically create a hardware, a virtual hardware webcam, which your favorite video conferencing service should be able to pick up and broadcast to whatever meeting you're joined. So let's see how this works. So the first thing you're gonna do is launch the remote viewfinder for your particular camera. So for me, it's this remote shortcut. Now when this loads, you'll be able to see the image from that camera that I've plugged into the computer. So there it is. So this is basically the remote live view of what that camera is seeing. So if I wave here, you'll see that that is the live view. So I'll put this over here for now. And then the next thing we're gonna launch is the OBS Studio. So I have that installed already. So if I open that, it should look like a black screen like this. And I already have a window capture, but I will remove it and show you how it's done. So you basically press plus down here, you choose window capture, and then just give it a name. And then it'll ask you which window you wanna capture. So it's already chosen the last window I had open, which is this one, so that's perfect. Otherwise you can click this drop down and choose the window you want. Now I usually untick capture cursor because we don't really want to see the mouse you know, moving over your face. So you click okay, and there is your capture right now. The next thing you're gonna do is you can resize this. To resize this, you're gonna press Alt on the keyboard and then click this, and then you can resize it and crop it. But right now, I only have one hand free, so I can't do that, so I'll do it off camera. Okay, so I did it off camera. Basically, I held down the Alt key, basically this one, and then you click and drag the corners to crop it the way you want it. After you've cropped it, just basically line it up to the edge, it snaps in, and then you basically wanna drag this and you wanna make it as large as possible to fill your window here and just adjust it to the way you want. It's okay if it clips a little bit, that's fine. So there it is, it is now being broadcasted. The next thing you're gonna do is get that virtual cam thing going. So you click tools and then there's virtual cam after you've installed that plugin. And then basically you can click start. And it's gonna show up as OBS camera. With that going, we can go to our favorite Con conferencing tool or web, whatever, web conferencing tool. Uh, I don't have uh, a Meets account, but we can click the gear icon and then go to video. And you can see that there is two, there's two webcams. I have the OBS camera and then my integrated webcam from my laptop. So this is actually showing the image from this camera over here. So if I then wave at my camera there, you'll see that it is actually showing this one, which is excellent. And now to show that it works in Zoom, we're gonna go to here and go to this one. We're gonna join a random test Zoom meeting. Name is KJKJ. We're gonna join this meeting. Okay, and there it is. Now, at the bottom here, there is start video. And there's the video. So if you click down here, it says which, which camera you wanna use. Right now it's using the integrated webcam, which is not the one we want. Choose OBS camera. Give it a second. And there it is. So this is the image from that webcam or the actual mirrorless camera over there. 
So there you go. So that's how you use your mirrorless camera or DSLR as a webcam. Uh, I hope this was useful and thanks for watching.